What's up, Penguinos? My name is Vegas Penguin. In the video you guys will be watching in the background is um, me going absolute try hard. Um, basically, before this game started, Ghost recognized a couple guys in this lobby and he like said, "Oh, these guys are tryhards." So I decided to go try hard, and um, I actually got pretty hyped during this video. I get a few like world stars turning on people, and like well, in the party chat, I was literally nearly screaming. It was pretty late at night, so I didn't want to be insanely loud, but it was hard not to be. Because um, I was absolutely just going hard. Um, I think I dropped just like 51 kills. But some of, the, some of the kills in here are just absolutely insane. And I was literally trying my balls off. That's why I'm using Obsidian Steed. But yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy that in the background. And what I want to talk about is just like a little free roam. You know, free talk stuff to talk about. It's like how life's going good, you know. Um, life is actually going pretty good. Summer. We've been on summer, well, I've been on summer for nearly a month now. And, uh, you know, just want to kind of talk about what's going on in my life, what has been going on, what's going to be going on. Um, thanks for all the new subs that came from Ghost's video. Um, a little bit I want to talk about is, um, at the end of the video, you know, like he said, it was a failed, uh, quad, Brony A bomb, and quad is four. And so. Basically, I died by an MP11 Airborne, and it was probably one of the worst deaths I have ever witnessed in my entire life. I picked up a Battle Inferno, and put nearly 10 shots into the guy, and, um, didn't get the kill, and then I died. Uh, I wasn't really that upset, like, that was also a few weeks ago, and it was pretty late at night, but I was listening to music, and it was, it was fine, you know, I wasn't really terribly mad about that. But, yeah, so that's what happened in that video. And, um, so basically what's going on with me, I, uh, I did this thing recently with some Navy SEALs, so some Navy SEALs, Marine Corps, and a Delta Force guy, and it's basically just like a real-life zombie apocalypse simulation. Like, you have a, you have a veteran as your squad leader, like, actual war guy, like I said, Delta Force, Marine Corps, Navy SEALs. And so, like, this was a choke. I choked the quad right here, ran out of bullets. Could have been, like, a multi, you know, five-man. That was insane, but, yeah. So, and then it's just, like, this big, giant warehouse. And so, they basically teach you how to breach in rooms and stuff because they're zombies. Zombies are played by actual people um, um, who just volunteer. Pretty, pretty crazy stuff. And, um, they give you a gun, it's like airsoft bullets, and, uh, the gun's, like, pretty identical to a military gun, just it's airsoft, you know, it's practically the same way and everything, and, uh, so basically it's just, like, you're in there, I would say, an hour and a half, and it's, like, you can barely see anything, you gotta collect intel, uh, you can barely see anything, it's, like, a hundred plus degrees, I live in Vegas, in a warehouse, middle of the day, it's gonna be hot, yeah, so I'm, like, sweating my balls off, and it's... But, like, yeah, my guy was a Delta Force, and it was absolutely insanely fun. Uh, just hour and a half, just shooting zombies, collecting intel. Like, it felt, it was cool. It kind of gives you more of a respect for guys to actually go to the war. Because that was brutal on its own, you know. My arm was sore the next few days, you know. So that was going on. Also, that day, I don't know if any of you guys are UFC fans, I met... Dana White, Chad Mendez, and Forrest Griffin. Forrest Griffin actually is a neighbor of mine. He lives around me somewhere. I met him at the gas station like a year ago. And then talked to him while I was there for a while. And then Dana showed up because he had to talk to Chad Mendez about filling in for Jose Aldo. And uh, so that was, I, pr I got intel on that. This was like a few days ago. So I got intel on Jose Aldo being pulled out of the fight. Got a picture of Dana. Forrest and Chad. Um, Dana follows me on Instagram now, which is pretty cool. If you guys don't watch UFC, it's basically hand-to-hand um, -hand combat, judo, mixed martial arts. Basically everything you can think of, it's real. It's not like wrestling, WWE, which is fake. Um, it's actually a real deal. And so that was cool, and then I'm excited for the fight. It's July 11th, Conor McGregor, Chad Mendes. Was more pumped for the Jose Aldo fight, but I mean, I'm a McGregor fan. See, I saw him fight Poirier, so uh, yeah, I've been on the McGregor bandwagon for a while. Yeah, I've seen him fight in person, so I guess I could say I'm actually a fan. But 
nothing less. That fight is going to be absolutely epic. Um, I also finished Batman Arkham Knight. Um, pretty awesome game. I literally grinded that for the entire weekend. You can ask Ghost and Frosty. Like, I totally ditched him on AW. Um, it was double XP. I said, no, AW sucks. I'm going to play a game that's actually fun. So I basically grinded Arkham Knight all weekend. A couple 12-hour days of just playing that game. And um, it was so fun. I love that game. I wish I could do more. I mean, I have like 92% done. I think what I need to do to get the full 100 is collect all the Riddler trophies. Um, a couple more of the like um, bombs that they have on the ground. Got to destroy some of those. And then also breach some of their um, checkpoints. And then that's full 100% of the game. A uh, pretty awesome game. If you guys haven't ever played a Batman game, I would highly, highly recommend it. It's insanely fun. Um, that's all I can say. It's literally so fun. It takes you away from playing COD, which recently has sucked very badly. And um, it's just something that you can relax and play and have fun. And uh, not really worry about anything. So, finish that game. Pretty awesome. Don't know... Next game isn't until, like, November for me, you know, it's the Fallout 4, Star Wars Battlefront, and COD, Black Ops 3, um, excited for that, beta is in August next month, and, uh, I'm not sure if I'll be in town or not, I may go to Seattle, so that's gonna be interesting, but I think the beta's gonna last a week, so I should be back by then, play it a few days, I know my friends are gonna grind it out, like, no other... And it's gonna be tough, um, but you know that's going on. Everything's, everything's going good. It seems like for me, nothing's really gone bad yet. You know, um, but thank you guys so much for watching. It really does make a make. Uh, it really does make me happy that you guys are watching, and uh, like my channel one year anniversary is like in a month and a half. But kind of makes me disappointed because I haven't like paid attention to my channel that much. You know, recently I've just been uploading 30 second clips and, uh, just, I don't know what it is. Sometimes I just can't get into that grind of just uploading videos and stuff and think of original stuff to put out there. Because it seems like everything's been done and it's pretty hard to think of new stuff that no one else has done. Considering how bad social media is nowadays. Like, I literally hate social media. I'm on it. I'm everywhere on it. But I hate it. I hate the people. Because there's so much negativity that goes on around Twitter and um, especially Twitter and YouTube. Like, you can't go to any video on YouTube and find the purely positive comments. There's always someone that says something else or this is fake or something. And it, and it really sucks, you know. It's just, it's pretty dumb in my opinion that no one can agree on anything. There's always those quote trolls who are too afraid to show themselves. And, uh, it's just, that's why I hate social media and why, I mean, in my opinion, I just feel like this generation screwed in a sense concerning social media, but just a mini little rant right there. It's just, I don't know, I don't even know where I got, where I got talking to that, but right here, as you can see, I don't know how many hit markers that was, but got that guy off the head glitch easy, you know, I just, this whole game, I absolutely felt dominant, and then, like, this night we were trying to win and then we got like host effed by these kids in Mexico so that was frustrating even though I still dropped like 56 kills um, <clears throat> suck my dick frosty um yeah so hope you guys did enjoy this video thanks for all the new subs hopefully I can get back into the video grind pretty soon I do want Black Ops 3 to be the, the game where I step up my channel and it's just everything's great and going good so that's what my hopes are Sorry for this being such a long video, I just, you know, I just wanted to get some stuff up, talk a little, and uh, if you guys did like it, and you stayed for the entire video, bravo to you, uh, don't really expect a ton to. If you did make it this far into the video, just say VP in the comment section, you know, Vegas Penguin VP. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, uh... Just dragging it on right now. NBA free agency is going on. Even though that's pretty random. Uh, don't really think my Mavs are going to get anyone. We probably will get DeAndre Jordan. 
Uh, I mean, it's a chance. We lost Tyson Chandler. He went to the Suns. Anyways, uh, sorry for this crappy mic quality. I don't know what's up with it. I use A50s. And, like, sometimes they'll be good, sometimes they'll be bad. But apparently for this video, they decided to be bad. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment VP if you did stay for the full length of the video. I dropped 51 kills. I don't really care about OBJ. Like, when I'm trying to prove my dominance and prove that I'm a god, I don't really go for OBJ. So that's what I did in this game. 51 kills proves my dominance on the scoreboard. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm out.